The New York Yankees rotation is officially in trouble. Hello and welcome to Louisville Slugger Yankees, where we talk Yankees baseball from Louisville, Kentucky. All right, so Carlos Rodon is going to be on the IL to start the season. That's a big, big loss for a rotation that's already down Frankie Montas. And it's funny to think about because just a few months ago, we were saying how the Yankees had the best rotation in baseball. Garrett Cole, Carlos Rodon, Luis Severino, Nestor Cortez, and then Frankie Montas, and then potentially Domingo Herman and Clark Schmidt uh, being those six and seven starters. But now Nestor Cortez is dealing with a groin injury, so he might not even be ready for opening day. Montas is probably not gonna pitch this year. If he does, he'll come back in September or August. And then Carlos Rodon, who the Yankees signed knowing that he had an injury history, knowing that this guy had shoulder and elbow issues, but they still had to make the big play for bringing him in. And he made 30 starts last year, so he's a guy that the Yankees trusted was going to be healthy, and he's not. Now, this injury doesn't sound serious. He should be coming back hopefully late April or May, but it's still a concern when you consider all the injury histories that Rodon has had. And it's a loss for the starting rotation, and I know it might just be for the first few months of the year, but this rotation is thin already. Garrett Cole is gonna go to the post, as he always does. He's gonna give 30 starts. He's healthy, he's ready to go. He's gonna be the Yankees opening day starter. But after that, Luis Severino is a guy that has had injury history and hasn't pitched much for the Yankees these past few years. And last year he was on an innings limit and was absent for about two months. So Severino is gonna be heavily relied upon to be a guy that the Yankees need to really slot in now as the number two starter without Rodon. And then of course, Nestor Cortez, who I already mentioned, he's coming back from a groin injury and is gonna have a slow buildup. Now the Yankees don't need five starters the first few months and really April with the off days, they can get away with having a four man rotation the first few weeks, but that's still gonna be an issue. And the biggest issue is the Yankees don't have organizational depth ready to have starting pitchers uh, ready to go from the minor leagues. Now, Clark Schmidt, Domingo Herman, who we once thought were gonna be competing for Frankie Montas's uh, available spot, they're both gonna be in the rotation now and they're probably gonna be used at least for the first few months with this Rodon injury. And it really becomes after that, who do the Yankees have besides those starters uh, in their organization to step into. Is Davey Garcia a guy who we've mentioned earlier, uh, can he be a guy that can slot in? I know he's pitched a little bit in spring training. Luis Hill is not gonna be ready, uh, maybe till July or August, he's coming back from Tommy John surgery. And then after that, the Yankees traded away those starting pitchers uh, that were providing the organizational depth uh, last, last trade deadline when they were getting Frankie Montas and Andrew Benintendi. So that's an issue for the Yankees that there's really not a whole lot of guys that are major league starting pitchers that are ready to go. So what are they gonna do? Will we see a lot more bullpen games where there's an opener uh, and then they turn it over to the bullpen for a few week, uh, few games? It's also important to remember too that Lou Trevino was announced that he's going to be out uh, really for the first couple months it sounds like with, with an elbow injury. And that's a big loss for the bullpen because he came in and pitched well in tight spots. He was really the fireman out of the bullpen that went into a lot of different situations, whether it was closing in the ninth inning or coming in the seventh inning. He's in some tough spots in the postseason. So the Yankees clearly trust him, rely upon him. He's not gonna be there for the first couple months, it sounds like. And that's on top of Tom Lee Canely not gonna be ready for the uh, start of the regular season. So the Yankees bullpen takes two hits. And then obviously the big loss is Carlos Rodon. So the Yankees have some concerns, they have some issues that they're going to have to get figured out. Is it gonna happen overnight? No. You'd hope, at least on the bullpen side, the Yankees have proven that they can have and develop guys that are gonna be uh, consistent and can get outs at the big league level. But in terms of starter, the Yankees now are going to be relying a lot on Domingo Herman and Clark Schmidt. But remember, Herman did win 18 games and was a good starting pitcher several years ago. Clark Schmidt's a little bit more of an unknown, uh, wants to obviously maybe control the zone a little better, uh, throw strikes. It's gonna be interesting to see how those two guys uh, really get their audition uh, at, the, at the big league level to 
become consistent starter for the Yankees. How do you think the Yankees should address this most recent string of injuries? As always, thank you for watching and let me know what you think. Give me a like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate it.